part two. So they are telling us to answer the first question and four other questions only. First question carries 16 marks and other questions carry 11 marks each. 11 marks each. So I will be doing all the questions of part two. Question number one, the compulsory question. Part A. Recollect the lesson factors and multiples which you have learned in the classroom. Subpart 1. What is the digital root of 6521? Right. So this is easy. Digital root refers to the sum of e the, each digit in that number. Sum of all the digits in that number. So here it will be 6 plus... 5 plus 2 plus 1, 6,521, 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1, 6 plus 5 is 13, plus 2 is 15, plus 1, 16. 16 is the digital root of this number. Subpart 2, two products of 72 are 2 times 36 and 3 times 24, right? Another three products of 72, another ways to get 72. Now the three ways to get 72, right? So, question number one, part A, sub part two. So they have given 72 equals 2 into 36 and 72 equals 3 into 24. Now the three ways to get 72. So, we can write any number we can write as 1 times that number. 1 times 72 will give 72. Right. So that's one way. We need two more ways. Excluding these two. I wrote these two down so that I don't write them in my answer. So we did twice, three times. Let's see if we can divide 72 by 4. And write 4 times something as 72. Right. Let's divide 72 by 4 and see. 1, 4 in 7, 32, 8. Yes. So 4 times 18 is 72. So 3 times 24, Instead, if, I'm, if I look at this 3 times 24, this 24 I can break down as 2 into 12. 24 we can write as 2 into 12. Then here I can write this as 3 into 2 into 12, this 3 into 24. Then, if I combine the 3 and 2, I get 3 into 2, which is 6. And write 6 into remaining 12. 6 into 12 is also 72. Uh, so they have given 2 into 36 and 3 into 24. So we got 1 into 72, 4 into 18, 6 into 12. Three other ways to get 72. Right. Sub part 3. Right, 24, 30 and 18 as per product of its prime factors. Right. Subpart 3. 24 as a product of its prime factors. So 24, I can write as, if I divide this by 2, I get 12. Divide this again by the prime number 2, I get 6. Again by 2, I get 3. And 3 it 1. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 24 equals 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. 8 into 3. But we have write as a product of its prime factors. So 2 into 2 into 2, 3 2's, 2 q because of these 3 into this 3. Then uh, 30. If I want to write 30 as a product of its prime factors, 
30 divided by 2 is 15 divided by I cannot divide 15 by 2 I divide it by 3 5 divided this by 5 1 so I can write 30 as 2 into 3 into 5 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 5 is 30 that's correct and finally 18 as a product of its prime factors so 18 I can divide by 2 to get 9 and 9 I can divide by 3 to get 3 divide by 3 to get so 18 I can write as 2 into 3 into 3 or 2 into 3 square 3 square is 9 9 into 2 is 18 so here we have 24 30 and 18 written as a product of its prime factors part 4 find the least common multiple of those three numbers least common multiple of 18 24 and 30 so to do that I write 18 24 and 30 and start dividing first by 2 because all are even numbers I get 9 12 and 15 right then I can divide 12 by 2 I divide it by 2 others I cannot divide by 2 so 9 6 15 right then again I can divide that 6 by 2 but others I can't so I leave it as it is 6 by 2 is 3 right now I can divide all remaining numbers by 3 so I get 3 1 and 5 then I divide by 3 this is already 1 here 1 1 3 divided by 3 is 1 5 I cannot divide by 3 just write 5 there then finally by 5 right now we have LCM lowest common multiple of 18 24 and 30 equals 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 cube into 3 into 3 that is 3 squared into 5 right 2 cube is 8 2 into 2 into 4 into 2 is 8 3 squared is 9 into 5 then we get 8 into 9 into 5 8 into 5 is 40 40 into 9 is 360 360 is the LCM of 18, 24, and 30, lowest common multiple. Right. Now, part B. A doctor recommended three types of tablets for a child. He has to take it three hours, six hours, and eight hours, respectively. So, first tablet, he takes it three, three hours. From the beginning, three hours, after three hours pass, and then again another three hours later, and again another three hours later, so on. Second tablet, every six hours he takes the tablet, and the third one every eight hours. If you took all three types of tablets at 8 a.m., after how many hours will he take all three tablets at once? Right. So, he takes the tablet at 8 a.m. all three right so one he takes every three hours after three hours pass one after six hours and another one after eight hours right so basically again we have to calculate the lowest common multiple of three six and eight <laughs> So what we do is write 3, 6, 8 and start dividing. You can divide 3 by 3 and get 1, 3 by 6 and get 2 and 8. Then I can divide by 2. 1, 1, 4, divided by 2, 1, 1, 2, divided by 2, 1, 1, 1. 2 into 2, so basically this is 2 into 2 into 2, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that is equal to this is 8 into 3, 24 24 hours later so the answer is 
after 24 hours. Moving on to question number two. Part A. Subpart one. A child went to school for 2 years, 9 months, 21 days by van and 5 years, 11 months, 18 days by bus. Find the total time he travelled by the bus and the van. Okay. So, 2 years, 9 months, 21 days. By where? Five years, eleven months, eighteen days by bus. Find the total time he travelled by the bus and the van. So they have not specified the unit of time, whether it's years, months, days. Uh, so what we can do is we can at these two right so if we add 21 days to 18 days we get 39 days but in a month there are 30 days so what we can do is on average 30 days so what we can now here we add 21 and 18 to get 39 from the 39 we can break it into 30 and 9. Then this 30, we go to the month column as one month. And remaining 9 days stay here. 9 days. Now we have 9, nine plus 1, 10, 10 plus 11, 21. 21 months. We have 21. Now, okay, so we send one month here, 1 plus 9, 10, 10 plus 11, 21. 21 months, now in a year there are 12 months, so we can break it as 12 plus, 12 plus 9 is 21. Right, so that means we keep 9 months here and the remaining 12 months from this 21 the remaining 12 months we take here as one year and bring it here 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 5 8 so we can say that a total amount of time uh, this child went to school travel by bus and van is 8 years 9 months and 9 days Question number subpart two. The age of the ch of a child on the date fifteenth February two thousand eighteen is five years, eleven months, and eighteen days. What is his date of birth? Right. On the fifteenth of February two thousand eighteen, this child is. 18 days, he's 5 years, 11 months, days, months, years, 5 years, 11 months and 18 days old. So, So this is on the 15th of February, right. 
so first we will deduct the <coughs> years we will deduct the 5 years so if from 2018 if I deduct the 5 years 2013 February 15th this child is 11 months and 18 days old Then I will deduct the months, deduct 11 months. So we go back to 2012. Go back 11 months from February. Right. So how are the months? January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and so on. So we are in February. We are here. We are here. We want to go back 11 months. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 months is March. Right. So right so 2012 March 15th this child is 18 days old right then subtract 15 days subtract 15 days and then we are now remember 2012 is a leap year that means that February had 29 days. So on 2012, February 29, we subtracted 15 days from these 18 days. The child is 3 days old. So go back 3 days from 29th February. 29th, 28, 29, 28 to 28, 27, 26. 1, 2, 3. 3 days. So the child was born on uh, February 26th, 2012. So we will give it in the format they have given, which is year, month, date. This is us. Right. Yeah. Question number two, subpart B. A tree which grows at uniform speed. Uniform speed means the same speed throughout. Grows, grows three centimeters per day. What will be the height of this tree after a leap year? Write the answer in meters. Right. So part B that one. The tree grows three centimeters per day. Leap year has three hundred and sixty six days. So we multiply three hundred and sixty six by three CM. Three into six eighteen, one remainder, three into six eighteen plus this one nineteen, one remainder. 3 into 3, 9, 9 plus this one, 10. 1098 centimeters. But they want the answer in meters. So to convert from centimeters to meters, since 1 meter has 100 centimeters, we have to divide this by 100. That is 10.98 meters. Dividing this 1098 by 100 is 10.98 meters. Moving on to question number 3. Part 1. Simplify. Right. So here again we have to use bid mass. 
like in the previous part b i d m a s right are there brackets yes so we do the bracket part first so 36 multiplied by 3 the bracket part 36 multiplied by 3 36 multiplied by 3 3 into 6 18 1 remainder 3 into 3 9 9 plus 1 10 is 108 and then 108 divided by 9 so if you know your multiplication table 9 times 12 is 108 so the answer here is 12 right now again bit mass here right bit mass are there brackets yes so do the bracket part first then we get 36 divided by 4 into 3 is 12 minus 3 right indices no division yes so do the division 36 divided by 12 is 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0 so the answer here is 0 right Part 3. In a clinic, a doctor charges 1200 for every 15 minutes. 1200 for every 15 minutes. If he attends to the clinic 2 hours per day for 7 days, how much will he earn during the week? Right. 1200 for 15 minutes. Now, 15 minutes. How many 15 minutes? How many? Parts of 50 minutes are there in 1 hour. 1 hour equals 60 minutes. So, 1 hour equals 15 minutes multiplied by how many parts of 15 are there in 60. If you divide this, 16 by 50, you will get 4. 4. But the 4 15s make 60 minutes. So in one hour, for 15 minutes, he makes 1,200 rupees. So for four, four of those, 4,800. So he makes 4,800 rupees per hour. And he attends the clinic two hours per day. So 4,800, we have to multiply by two to get 9,600. This is the amount he makes. 9,600 is his daily amount. He does this for 7 days. So 7 days means you take the 9,600 and you multiply it by 7. That is 0, 0, 7 times 6 is 42, 4, 63, 67,200. Again, how do we do that? In one hour, there are 60 minutes. Doctor charges per 15 minutes. So there are four 15 minute sessions in one hour. So per 15 minutes is 1200. So 1200 times 4, 4800. That's the hourly rate. He works two hours per day. So 4800 into 2 is 9600. Then there are seven such days. 9600 into 7 is 67,200. That's the amount he earns. Right, simplify. Negative 3 plus 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 positive 1. So we can write this as negative 3. 2 plus signs make 1. Negative 3 plus 1. So imagine you have the number line, you have negative 3. In the number line, you have negative 3 and you go plus 1 means to the right side by 1. You end up at negative 2. Part 2, negative 5 plus negative 4. So we can write this one as negative 5 minus negative 4 and then we can take the negative out. Then it will become negative 5 plus 4. This is negative 5 plus 4 is 9, negative 9 is the answer. Negative 5 plus plus 5, negative 5, then these pluses will give us plus. Negative 5 plus 5, negative 5, you are starting at negative 5 and then you go 5 to the right. So you end up at 0 or this is like 5 minus 5, 0. This one, negative 5 plus plus 5, negative 5 plus 5 or 5 minus 5, 0. 
4.25 plus minus 3.75 so this is like 4.25 minus 3.75 so when you subtract 5 minus 5 is 0 you borrow 1 from here 12 minus 7 is 5 you borrowed 1 3 minus 3 is 0 so the answer is 0 point plus 0 point 5 and here negative 2.15 plus negative 2 negative 1.63 so this is like negative 2.15 plus into minus is minus minus 1.63 then take the negative out 2.15 plus 1.63 that is negative of when you add these two 3 plus 5 8 6 plus 1 7 This 3 plus this 5 is 8, 6 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3.78, that is negative 3.78. Question number 5. Using only the straight edge and set square, do the following constructions on the same diagram. Right. So we take the straight edge and the set square, take the pencil, draw a straight line segment AB such that AB equals 7 centimeters and mark the points A and B. Right. Right. So question number 5. Part 1. Draw a straight line segment AB such that AB equals 7 centimeters and mark points A and B. Right. That's easy. Mark the initial point A and take 7 centimeters mark this point B and you check it again yeah it's 7 centimeters draw part 2 draw perpendicular to AB at the point A right draw perpendicular to AB at the point A and mark the point C 5 meters away from A 5 centimeters away from A so perpendicular means the one that forms 90 degrees and they should be 5 centimeters from A So we have C which is 5 centimeters from A. Right. Part 3 draw a straight line through C parallel to AB. So to make it parallel to AB, get a point, mark the point which is 5 centimeters away from B and forms 90 degrees that line should form 90 degrees from B right now right this line is parallel to AB Right. Complete the rectangle ACBD. So that is from here. Complete this. Right. So part four is also done. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स Draw the following angles using a protractor and write down the type of each of the angles. 40 degree angle. 40 degree angle. Now we know if it is less than 90 degrees, this is an acute angle. Take your protractor. Measure 40 degrees. And mark it. Right, so that's 40 degrees. Next we have a 110 degree angle. 110 means 110 is between 90 and 180. 90 is a right angle, 180 is a straight angle. So between 90 and 180 is considered an obtuse, tag, obtuse angle. So what you can do is draw the base, then measure 110 degrees. So from starting from 0 here, go 110 here. Mark the point. Yeah. And then check. So this is 110 degrees. Part 3 Draw an angle which is 260 degrees. 260 degrees means an angle about 180, that is a reflex angle. Right. So, how are we going to do? 260 is 260 is not even on the protractor, more, the protractor goes only up to 180. Simple, really. You know that a full circle is 360 degrees. So, from 360, if I subtract 280, I get 80 degrees. So what I can do is, I can draw an 80 degree angle I can draw an 80 degree angle if I start from here if I draw an 80 degree angle there is somewhere here Okay, this is an 80 degree angle. Eighty degrees. But we want not the eighty, we want two eighty. So two eighty is basically this. This is two eighty degrees. Then you can erase the eighty. So we have a 280 degree angle which is a reflex angle. Part 4, name the 40 degree angle that you have drawn as ABC. Right. ABC. A, B, C. B is where the angle is. A, B, C. Because it's A, B, C. B is where the angle is. Right, part 4. Then, name the vertex. Vertex is 
here this point here that is B vertex is B and an arm an arm an arm is either this this line or this line so we can take a is a b a b or b c is correct right. question number 7a complete the figure to obtain a bilateral symmetric figure right so they have drawn this shape here we can see it this is what they have drawn and it looks like it's a bit unclear but maybe something like this so you can complete it two units this way two is this way then cut one back use the ruler now from here two down one to the side two down one to the side here and then one to the side two down one to the side two down that's here two to the side one down one from here We have completed the figure. B. If x equals 2 and y equals 3, find the value of 2x squared y. Right. So 2 into x squared means x into x into y. x equals 2. So 2 into 2 into 2 into y is 3. Right. Now multiply. 2 into 4. 4 into 8. 8 into 3. 24. Part C. Write down the set A which is represented in a Venn diagram in terms of a common property of its elements by words within curly brackets. Right. So A is equal to, we can say, 2468. Uh, we can say multiples of 2. They are all multiples of 2. 2468. Uh, but these are not all the multiples of 2 that we can think of. We can think of 10, 12, 14, so on. So we can say multiples of 2 between 1 and 9. All the multiples of 2 between 1 and 9 are 2, 4, 6, 8. That's it. That's the end of the paper.